enjoyment, the state or process of taking pleasure in things being done. Is this all that games have going for them? Welcome to my topical series, and in this video, we'll be discussing the vital essence of life, and that is, you guessed it. Men not gonna need nothing else but help, wealth, and knowledge of myself. Men not gonna need nothing else but help, wealth, and knowledge of myself. I'd like to delve straight in by saying health is a major part in your survival in this world. I'm not sure what you do with your life, I'm not sure how you live your life, and I'm not by any means telling you how to live your life, but I strongly suggest that you understand your specs. As human beings, we are born without a choice. Here on earth, I have no voice, but with this in this medium called the internet, I can give out my thoughts and I hope you guys enjoy them in any way. As I was saying, we are very, very uh, like delicate as human beings. We will be crushed under a tire of a truck. We, we, we are victim, we are subject to so much gore it's just not funny like guts and everything we, we're very precious as uh, beings that's what i say like organisms living on this earth and we got to realize that there's a little thing there's a little law that governs the way of this world it's like a little law known as entropy i'm not sure if you've heard of it but in time things degrade things break down and that's that's how this whole world has been designed really or come come to be it's very like despairing the thought of everything you've ever done or everything you're ever going to do is going to be for nothing eventually inevitably but you think of the now here and now and just enjoy yourself enjoy the ride have a great time don't think about your future um, well, obviously think about, you know, plans to better yourself in the future, but don't think where you're going to end up in 80 years, because you're going to end up grub food, and it's a very scary thing. All we can do is think about now. How is now going to be better? How are you going to make five minutes better? What, what change are you going to make? And that all ties in with the mental health that you have. If you are a very lazy person, um, you're not really going to get much done because you really don't have the drive, the zeal to actually motivate yourself to get up and want to do things. It's more a motivating factor. When you're lazy, you just, ah, uh, no, I don't want to do that. Being tired is a completely different subject. But even when people that are motivated, they they tend to get things done even if they are very tired. Like me, myself, I used to get a lot of shit done when I was just doing a lot of, like I working out fucking four hours a day and still having the, the push and drive in me just to get up and go to work. And it, it was very, uh, it was, I'm really amazed at the things I've done. I take it for granted, but when you look back, like with you, whatever you've done, you will take for granted at first. You'll think this is nothing. You'll do things and you'll be like, what? Oh, everyone else has done that. But then when you think back, you're like, wait, I did it this way. They didn't do it that way. I have I did it in my own uh, limitations. I did it in my own spectrum. Like it's, you got to realize every step you take in this life is just another stepping stone to where you need to be, depending whether or not you're going forward or going backward. But before you make any major steps, just ask yourself truly, do you really know yourself? Do you truly know yourself? What I mean by this is every year, everybody changes. Everyone has different interests. Things don't feel the same as they used to be to people that evolve. Basically, it's an evolution process. And do you you don't really know yourself truly until you have a relapse of exactly um, everything you've done in life. You have a profound instillment of your history. Like, 
you can go back and rethink everything you've ever thought of back then and not have a doubt saying, I really wish I didn't do no regrets. And you got to know who you really are because when you think back on yourself, you think, I don't really know that person. Who was that person? But really, it was you the whole time. You're just evolving. You're changing with the times. This is basically knowing who you really are. The thing under your skin. What keeps you alive. The person in your brain. You. This person has been with you from the start. This person will never leave you until you leave it. And I'm going to be honest. This is a very scary thought because um, most like most people do know who they are. They could wake up in the next next morning and know exactly what they're going to do with their life, what's happening. But other people, things change. They they change their environments. They change their mentality, the state that at which they're in, and this really hinders who they are. If if you are involving with your environment, say you're growing up in school. And you see the cool kids bullying other kids and then you do that. That isn't you. Who you are is the way you adapted to your situation without the actual rep, uh, replica, replication of other people. As in, you're doing it in your own way. The way that you know is right. That really determines knowing who you are is... Knowing deep down that everything you do is right. Now, in this world we live in, this big, wide, vast environment, this big playpen, this open world, nothing is for free. You have to give some to get some. And in terms of currency, this world trades in paper. Obviously, it's um, possibly going to change. Who knows? But... The way things are done in this world are done by a reward system, like point systems. You do this, you get rewarded for it. You are given allowances. You are given the currency that you need to survive. It is a constant get, give and get, give and get. You're working, you're, you're helping someone do something, and they in turn favor you, and they give you something that will benefit you, such as, you know... A universal format of the currency we know today and it's gone a long way a lot of people have drained a lot of money for no reason a lot of people have wasted a lot of money that didn't need to be wasted but you yourself think to yourself deep down how much stuff do I have that I am not using my philosophy is if it if you're not using it within a year used. Obviously, if you're constantly using something and it's it's needed, but if items that you, you don't use and they're just sitting there for a year plus, it's really, like, it's not needed. It's taking up room. It was a waste. And that I do believe most people struggle with. They struggle with problems of buying things they don't need, whether it be food that hinders their health or just um, greed coveting items that they see other people have and they want that is a big cancer that does eat away at a lot of people you yourself you need to be on top of all that you need to have a foundation of this universal format that we know as currency you need to be rich in all goodness and not let anything like that happen to you because a lot of people slope down into that pit the cesspool of just broke bankruptcy and it, it's a depressing place. In the 30s, people off themselves because they didn't have enough money to buy a fucking slice of bread. With all the money that you've spent, how much has it benefited you? And how much has it hindered you? What have you bought to bring you prosperity? What have you bought to bring you peace? What have you bought just to, you know, overall keep you healthy? And also, another side, what have you bought to drain your time? What have you bought to keep you in a loop? What have you bought to keep you um, on edge? What have you bought to make you go insane? That's basically, with wealth, you're better off keeping it as wealth and not turning it into vacancy.
a vacuous self-gratification cycle that no one wins in.